ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put this power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! Hello everyone, I am OJ Serkinia. At ako po si Kayan Arceo and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We search all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. For several weeks, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Nandito na tayo sa ating weekly finals. Kilalanin natin ngayon ang ating apat na daily winners. One of them will move on to a spot in our semifinals kung pumasa siya sa ating K-Check sa araw na ito. Ang uta nating contestant ay si Agapito Nelmida. Siya ay kasalukuyang part-time instructor at law student. Mahilig siya magsulat, magbasa, at manood ng pelikula. Asher Ayeras is our second contestant. He is a first-year college student na mahilig sa Korean dramas and movies. He also enjoys searching for random and obscure but fun facts. Our third contestant is Gina Palanca. She is a former vice president of an insurance company and is now a proud mother and a housewife. And finally, Gio de Guzman, who worked as a nurse in a tertiary hospital during the pandemic, but now he is busy being in a band and says he has calignophobia. At gaya ng ginawa nila ng kanilang qualifying rounds, our contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of our panel of experts. Our first expert is Professor Andriel Tiatko, Chairperson of the Department of Speech Communication and Theater Arts, UP Diliman. Our second expert is Professor Marian Roque of the Institute of Mathematics, UP Diliman. And our third expert is Professor Neil Santillan of the UP Diliman Department of History. Welcome everyone! Kayen, weekly finals na! Mataas ang aking expectation sa tagisa ng talino sa araw na ito. Ako, ako rin, OJ. We have the week's best right here with us. Contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Agapito, which veteran actor is the father of Jano Gibbs? Ray, Ray Gibbs. Male, Ronaldo Valdez. Asher, what planet's orbit is between the orbits of Jupiter and Uranus? Saturn. Paycheck, Gina, who is the Norse god of thunder? Thor, Geo, a molecule of water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of what element? Oxygen. Paycheck, Agapito, what number is the sum of the seven and product of three and eleven? Forty. Asher, who is the father of late actors Mark Hill and Sherry Hill? Uh, Eddie Mesa. K-check. Gina, what number is four less than the square of eight? Sixty. Gio, which fama's best actress is the 33-year-old daughter of Fernando Poe Jr.? Love you, Poe. K-check. Agapito, what continent is known as the land down under? Um, Antarctica. Mali. Australia. Asher, what number is twice the square root of 25? Uh, 10. K-check. Gina, Annabel Rama is the mother of which international beauty queen and actress? Ruth Gutierrez. K-check. Gio, what number is the average of 55 and 75? 15. Mali. 65. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan Round. Oh, Jay, feeling ko there's still some jitters, no? Pero the competitive spirit is building up. Yun din ba ang palagay mo, Sir Unreal? 
um, oo, oh, oo, oh, oo, oh, totoo yan. Um, actually, kanina habang uh, sumasagot sila, natot si Guevara ako <laughs> dito sa aking upuan. Napahawak ako sa sobrang kaba. Pero super init ng uh, labanan kanina, sa totoo lang. Pero may gusto akong itanong kay Gio. Um, kasi kanina nabanggit na may banda ka at napaka-unusual at strange nung pangalan ng banda. Kwento mo naman sa amin, bakit napangalan ng ganoon ang banda? Actually, my basis, John Mark Saberto got the idea of the band's name, Adult Pasa. So, from the root word, adulthood. So, we're all adults. Tapos, pag nagigig kasi kami, yung nanay nagluluto ng salad. Tapos, yung pinapapak namin yung raisins. Then, we combined it, Adult Pasas. Yung pala ang pinanggalingan nun. No? Thank you, Gio. Now, let's look at the scoreboard. Oh, we have in the lead with 30 points. Asher, which means, Asher, nakuha mo lahat ng tinanong sa'yo. Tama ang sagot niya sa lahat. Kasunod niya naman si Gio with 20 points. Gina has 10 points. And Agapito, lots of time. Lots of time, Agapito. Ikaw, ilan ang nakuha mo doon? Nako, Kayan, that was an interesting round, pero naka nine correct answers ako doon. Parami ng parami ang nakukuha ni OJ with every episode. So kayo, ilan bang ba nakuha ninyong sagot? Nako, ready na ba kayo sa susunod na round? Ang Pabilisan Round, coming up next here on K-Check! Welcome back sa ating Karunungan Check Weekly Finals. Before we proceed to the next round, let's do a point recap. Asher is in the lead with 30 points. He is followed closely by Gio with 20 points. Gina has 10 points. And Agapito, pwede ka pang humabol. Right? It is a tight fight as of now and it's everyone's game. But I am interested in one of our contestants. Gina, as the sole female contestant in this show, how are you feeling right now to be competing with these guys? Nervous. <laughs> Very nervous? Why are you nervous? Geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gina, itaguyod ang uh, kababaihan. Supportado ka namin dyan. What about you, Agapito? I heard you were a Filipino major and currently studying law. Nais ko sanang isalin yung batas, yung teknikalidad ng wika ng batas para mas maabot ng mga mamamayan ang kanilang karapatan at maging kapangyarihan nila to. So yung theory at praxis ng batas, uh, nung undergraduate ko, yung digraduadong antas ko, um, naisip ko dati yung intelektualisasyon ng wikang Filipino. Pero later on, naisip ko na maging intelektualisasyon ng Filipino yung mga manggagamit nito. Wow, parang ang lalim ng sagot ni Agapito. Kailangan yata natin ng tulong mula kay Prof. Neil. Sobrang lalim ang, ang sagot ni Agapito at tunay na ang Filipino ay isang wikang intelektual at sinusulong ni Agapito yan. Pero I think ang advice ko ay you go beyond languages at mag-aral ka ng social sciences agang palipunan para palalimin ang pag-aaral ng wika sa larangan ng abugasya. Salamat, Sir Neil. So, palalimin, palawakin. Yan din ang gagawin natin ngayon sa pagpasok natin sa K-Check, pabilisan. We have to buzz first, contestants, buzz first to earn the right to answer the question. Now, be very careful. Correct answers will be given 20 points. But as you already know from your previous uh, rounds, a 10-point deduction will be given Pag mali ang inyong sagot. So, strategy is key. Let's begin. Contestants, 12 questions. And this is the first one. Which single by Dua Lipa has a version with Da Baby and is Billboard's number one song of 2021? Ooh. 
Levitating. Yeah. I was sure may makakakuha sa inyo noon. Question 2. Which PBA team won 14 championships from its inclusion in the league in 1986 until its disbandment earlier this year? Asher. Alaska Aces. Alaska KJ. Oh my god, basket mo yun! <laughs> Surprise ba yun? Surprise! <laughs> Question number three. In what city can you find the Notre Dame Cathedral and the Louvre Museum? Paris. Oh, alam yung lahat yon. I know. Baka naunahan ng kaba. Question number four. Which Danny Boyle film starring Dev Patel set in India was nominated for 10 U.S. Academy Awards in 2009. Asher. Slumdog Millionaire. Slumdog Millionaire. Kate. Question number five. Which historic peninsula in Ukraine was occupied by Russia in 2014? Asher. Crimea. Crimea. Kate. Doing well, Asher. Doing well. Habul pa tayo. Sali tayo. Question number six. Which mysterious British street artist, known for satirical and subversive works, was awarded Person of the Year at the 2014 Webby Awards? Banksy. Medyo mahirap nga siguro yon. Half of the questions na yon, but half of the questions coming up, kuha pa ng points, kuha pa ng points. Question number seven. What Latin American country is the setting of the 2021 Disney film Encanto? Colombia. Asher. Colombia. Keche. Question number eight. What was the name given by Francis Spriggs to the black pirate flag that featured a skull and crossbones? The Jolly Roger, and ba? The Jolly Roger. Question number nine. What title was given to the ruler of ancient Egypt beginning in 3000 BC, who was both the head of state and religious leader. Pharaoh. Asher. Pharaoh. Keche. Doing very well, Asher. Let's go, Gio, Gina, Agapito. Let's go. Question 10. What sweater that opens in front is named after a British general and is the title of a 2020 hit song of Taylor Swift. Cardigan. Cardigan. Asher Keche. Last two questions. Number 11. What was the name of Bangladesh before it became a new nation in 1971? Asher. Ceylon. Malik. East Pakistan. East Pakistan. Now for the final question. Who had to cancel concerts last June when he was diagnosed with a rare neurological disorder? Ramsey Asher. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. The disorder is Ramsey Hunt Syndrome. Justin Bieber. K check. And that ends the K check. Pabilisan round. OJ? Yes, Kaya, that was a very interesting round. Obviously, that round belonged to Asher. And I would like to talk to Asher. Asher, you are the youngest in this batch, but you do not seem intimidated by that fact. What is driving your competitive spirit? 
I'm telling them a while ago na hindi dapat ako nandito because I thought K, the one for K-check, when I sign it up, I thought K stands for Korean. Because they were for Korean stuff, because K-drama. Then I signed it up because I thought it's for K-dramas. And I mentioned, de ba, na I love K-dramas. So yun, and I'm not supposed to be here. Pero thank God na ayon. So well, Asher, talaga, some things stuck. really come into your life unexpectedly. And it looks like he found the right place anyway. Absolutely. Professor Marian, what do you think of Asher's performance? Nakakabaliw, di ba? So, kasi I think advantage din ng bata siya. Parang sponge pa ang kanyang utak. Lahat na-absorb. Kaya K-drama yan or K na K na karunungan. So, keep it up. Pero yung mga mas nakakatanda kay Asher, kaya nyo pa yan. Right, definitely, Prof. Marian, it's still anyone's game at this point. But let us look at the scores. Asher, as stated, is in the lead with 160 points. He is followed by Gio with 20 points. Gina still has 10 points. And Agapito, it's still not the end. It's still not the end. We still have another round, so those rankings might still change. Kaya hindi pa talaga natin alam kung paano matatapos ang labanang ito. Masasagot natin yan sa ating ultimate pagalingan round. And that is up next here on K-Check! Welcome back! Tingnan natin ulit ang mga ranking. So ahead is Asher again with 160 points. Gio has 20 points. Gina has 10 points. And Agapito, my third round pa. Well, makikita natin sa susunod na round kung magbabago pa ang ranking na iyan. Pupunta na tayo sa K-Check Pagalingan Round where correct answers are worth 30 points and wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. OJ, as if hindi pa yan pressure enough, dadagdagan pa natin ang pressure sa ating mga contestants dahil sa round na ito, ang mga katanungan ay manggagaling sa ating mga professors, sa ating panel of experts. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Weekly Winner. Contestants, let's begin! Professor Andrew, may we have your question, please? Okay, hey, unang tanong. Rizal was writing a third novel before his execution at Bagumbayan. This novel was tentative, tentatively titled as what? Asher, oh, sure. Makamisa. Natuklasan ito ni Ambet Ocampo noong 1987 at ang kabuoang manuskrito ay nakasulat sa Filipino at Tama ka, ito ay makamisa. Okay, check! Professor Marian, it's now your turn to ask a question. Okay, which physicist stated in his third law of motion that for every action... Asher. Uh, sure. Isaac Newton. This British physicist and mathematician is known for his theory on the law of gravity and his three laws of motion, among other things. Tama ka? Isaac Newton. Okay, check. Thanks, Prof. Marian. Prof. Neil, may we have your question, please? Okay, susunod na tanong, sino ang kauna-unahang babae mula sa Southeast Asia na nanalo ng Nobel Prize? Ah, sure. Ong San Suu Kyi. Nakuha, nakuha niya ang Nobel Peace Prize noong 1991 dahil tumindig siya laban sa military junta sa Myanmar. Nung huling limang taon, naging kontrobersyal. Uh, naging kontrobersyal siya dahil sa kanyang pananahimik sa genocide ng Rohingya Muslims sa Myanmar. Tama ka, Asher. Ang tamang sagot ay Aung San Suu Kyi. Okay, check. Professor Andrew? Okay. Kuya Boji and Ati Shena are two of the many human characters in the children's television show, Batibot. Name two puppet characters popularized by the show. Mm. 
Naku, panahon ko hindi to. So, ang mga puppet characters sa Batibot ay sina Kiko Matching, Pong Pagong, Irma Daldal, Coco Quick Quack, Manang Bola, Kapitan Basa, Sitsiritsi, Alibangbang, Ningning, si Gingging, si Kuya Derms, si Noli De Casio, si Angelic Baso, at si Biaps Biaps. Professor Marian, may we have your question, please? Chemistry. Recently, in the news, a trace amount of a certain pesticide was found on instant noodles that were distributed in some European countries. This compound is commonly used in food manufacturing. Geo. Ethylene oxide. The correct answer is ethylene oxide. Okay, check. Professor Neil, may we have your next question, please? Next question, what ethno-linguistic group considers Pinatubo Volcano as their traditional abode? Asher. Ay ito. Matatagpuan ang pangkat etniko ito sa probinsya ng Pampanga, kamag-anak nila sa lahi, ang mga agta sa Bicol at mga dumagat sa probinsya ng Rizal. Tama, Asher. Correct answer, Aitas o Aitas. Professor Andrew, may we have your question, please? Okay. Field ko to. Theater. In the play, A Portrait of an Artist as a Filipino by Nick Joaquin, the protagonists are two old ladies. Who are they? Kung napanood ninyo ang pelikulang Larawan the Musical, sila ay anak ni Don Lorenzo Marasigan na nagpinta ng isang larawan para sa kanila. Sila ay ginampanan ni na Joanna Ampil at ni Rachel Alejandro sa pelikula. Sila ay sina Candida at Paula. From a theater-related question, let's go back to a science-related one. Professor Marian? Again, physics. What is the name of the global network of observatories which captured the first ever image of a black hole in 2019. This global network of radio telescopes stationed around the Earth was launched in 2009. The combined data gives sufficient um, resolution to observe objects such as black holes. The name of this project is the Event Horizon Telescope. Professor Neil? Which country do the cities of Rotterdam, The Hague, and Utrecht belong to? Agapito. Netherlands. Matatagpuan ang bansang ito sa hilagang Europa, Dutch o mga Olandes ang tawag natin sa kanilang mga citizens. Tama, tama ka Agapito. Ang tamang sagot ay the Netherlands. Professor Anrel. Your final question, please. Yes, um, Lakwacha ulit. So, from Europe, balik tayo sa Southeast Asia, sa Pilipinas. Batanes is an archipelagic province and the northernmost province in the Philippines. What is its capital? Basco. Basco is correct. K-check! Professor Marian, your last question, Wala please. Wala ka masabi, Prof. Anriel. Okay, sa panahon ng COVID, di ba? Narinig nyo marami about DNA, RNA. In the central dogma of molecular biology, the process that allows DNA to produce RNA is called blank. Replication. Mali? This is the first step in gene expression, the key step that controls the on-off of genes and subsequently the status of cells. This is called transcription. Professor Neil, to conclude this round, may we have your final question, please? Eh, huling tanong, 
What is the most significant contribution of Magellan's expedition to world history? For circumnavigation. Ipinagbiwang natin ang kensentinial ng kaganapang ito noong 2021. Tama ka, Asher. Ang tamang sagot ay it saw the first circumnavigation of the world. K-check. Professor Anriel, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, our panel of experts, thank you very much. And that is it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. And that is it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Asher, our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score of 340 points. He will be receiving a mobile phone from TVUP. We'll see Asher again in the semifinals. Congratulations, Asher, and congratulations also, Gio, Gina, and Agapito. You're still our daily winners. Thank you very much for joining K-Check. And thank you to our panel of experts, Professor Anril Tiatko. Professor Marian Roque and Professor Neil Santillan. This is Kayan Arceo. And I am OJ Serkinia. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check! K -check.